So in today's video, this is actually more of a, I guess, uh, experience video, what have you, right? Uh, this is why I would encourage any parent who is currently has a family member or anyone with the Frank D. Lanterman Regional Center in the state, or any regional center in the state of California, I would highly recommend getting your, uh, um, your, uh, your family members all of their records regarding billing and stuff like that because, uh, we're about to go in for a wild ride. And make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell notification. I try to make videos every day, so yeah. Uh, but now that but now that's out the way, I guess you know, just hit subscribe button. Anyways, let's get it. Let's get it. Pop it. Peace. So the first thing I want to warn, especially pa uh, parents or um, any, like I said, any family members of someone who's currently with the Frank D. Landerman Regional Center, is that they make three thousand dollars a pill. They put your family member, whether son, daughter, who, what have you, right? The regional center can basically bill three thousand a month for that person to, uh, in whatever facility they're in. And uh, yeah, it's absolutely disgusting. I was a victim to that. Uh, that's why I'm kind of making this video too, because and this is why I have a personal vendetta with the state of California. It's it's kind of a thing I have. Anyways, they're going to be seeing, you know, probably videos about this more often. But yeah, uh, let's get into number two. I highly recommend, especially if you're under the company Rob Sag Inc., they primarily base themselves out of Pasadena, California, um, I believe Glendale and Burbank, California is where their main group homes are. I would highly recommend seeing the group home in its entirety and basically getting investigations done because if you have a family member, family member one of those homes, it is there's a high chance to have a roach infestation uh, and especially if you're in Bella Vista, you are probably going to have scapies infestations, bed bugs, and if you're in the Hamilton's Raymond house, um, you can, there's, uh, again, I haven't been there in six months, I haven't seen it at all, uh, in however long, you know, but, uh, yeah, from sources I know, too, um, that in the Raymond house, I believe there's bed bugs a lot of the times, roaches, uh, yeah, so, uh, that's number two, uh, I would check on if you're a, you know, if you're a family member with someone, especially in one of those homes under Rob Zag Inc. Um, yeah, so number three, if you have someone who's high functioning, they, they're not going to be good for the regional center entirely. They primarily cater to low functioning, um, because they can pump more, it's a more of like a pump and dump scheme. They can make more money out of these people, especially if they're older, because they probably don't have other family members because they're, again, too disabled to, you know, to developmentally disabled to, you know, understand, you know, like, consent. So, you know, so they, they never had any kids, and if they're old enough, they probably don't have a family. Uh, the fourth thing I w I'm going to say is they are a non-profit, quote-unquote. Basically, what happens is, again, the regional center the state of California funds the regional center and the regional center has certain levels of justifications they can make to receive money from the state and they just dish them out to the owners of these homes and they, they make masses amounts of money on the backs of not only the taxpayers in California also to manipulating them into thinking everything's okay with these homes when a lot of them are like in shutdown condition like you know from what I could see that's been a uh, that's been a case a lot of the time. Uh, I've never. I can tell you. I've been to. I've been through the California DCFS system as well. There are homes there where I could say that's cool, like you know, whatever you know. Where the, I could say like they did a good job, for like a pro and con perspective. There's probably more pros to cons. I cannot say anything about good about the regional center. 
Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's number, is that number four? And we're gonna go to my last one, which is number five. Um, if you are thinking about moving to California, because I see California as a top place for people with disabilities and all these lists, D don't listen to those lists. A lot of those lists are outdated. If you're reading any articles, I would double check to make sure they've been written from at least the last two to three years, because a lot of when these were written were written in like 2011, 2013. So if you're looking at moving someone to California for disability services, I, I would highly uh, look into the other articles that were in and when they were written. Uh, and uh, yeah, so, uh, but yeah, uh, we're gonna get into part two on this. Just give me one second. Okay, so I have a crazy story about experience with the regional center. So again, and they better be lucky I'm not a litigious man, and I'm just a kind of guy to just talk shit about it. But basically, in May 27th of 2020, that time frame, I've been calling the, the health department on Rob Sag, and this is where my personal vendetta comes in with the state of California. To a point where because the owners of these massive, like, they're massive companies, right? The owner of these facilities basically is buddy-buddy with the sheriff's department. They got a staff member to physically assault me when, when I defended myself, because obviously I'm not going to let someone tackle me Ray Lewis style, you know? We're not, you know, uh, we're not about to go. <laughs> and think I'm not about to punch them in the face, you know? Like, yeah, you know, so... And when they called the cops, I told the cops, so self-defense, they had three different people saying three different things. One said I hit him with a guitar, one said I hit him with a chair, one said I hit him with just my fist, but he never did anything wrong. And by the way, there was no evidence to come out in any of this. The Altadena Sheriff's Station told me, I'm going to be going on a 5150, quote unquote, because after, after that, I was like, well, okay. You know, I know I did nothing wrong. I just defended myself. They actually throw me in the Altadena jail. Keep in mind, with no police report ever filed, I even tried to call to get those rec records requested. And they were, and they basically were like, this is just basically their reaction. Hello? Hi, yeah, uh, can, I need to get copies of a police report. Oh, well, when is it from? Uh, 2020? Oh, won't get back to him. That's gonna be a ton of ton of months away. Okay, well, all right, I guess. So I waited like six months, you know, to no callback. I finally get them to email me, and basically in that report, it says there is never a police report filed, not a single one, basically implying that they detained me illegally in jail to try and get me to confess to something I did not do. Like, that was ever going to work. I have a god complex, motherfucker. You're not breaking me. <laughs> like, I will break I will break you like Bane to Batman's back before you ever break me, okay? That is never gonna happen. I, I, yeah. It's, anyways, my ego is, is, uh, is through the roof, you know? Because I know I'm in the right, you dumb shits. Anyways. Sorry for a little rant. So I end up trying to find an attorney, right? I have attorneys that are willing to do it. As soon as they see what it's about, they're like, yeah, we're not doing this pro bono. Like, we can't help you with anything. You have to pay like seven grand up front. And I'm like, what? The evidence is right here. Here's the, co here's the reason why they declined me any report and yeah so I, I don't yeah so I mean I don't even know at that point but you know uh so because no attorney will take it on I guess you know and plus two I wouldn't want to sue them now I just would want this to blow up so if you hit the subscribe button the like button and uh share this around to your friends you know we may be able to get some absolute degenerate 
abusers into jail, you know, put them behind bars, hopefully. So, yeah, you know, waiting, you know, just, uh, you know, wait to hit the subscribe button so we can stop these, uh, disabled abusers, you know. Anyway, so, yeah, that's my history and why I absolutely hate the state of California with every ounce of my being, and that's also the reason why I hate journalists as well, because they have no morals, they are willing to basically profit off of the weakest in society, and I say, fuck those people. My, 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 my two reactions are gonna be, uh, um, a big fat middle fingers, you know, like little, 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 uh, little, 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 little fuck you guns, you know, pew pew. And it's also this. You know. Anyways, yeah, so, if you want to see more videos like this, like I said, like, sub, share, whatever. But yeah, I am out. Peace.